First rumor of the day, Coney Ealy. Is he going to join the Cowboys? Two stars on this one, firmly in that rumor category because Ealy is host is going to the Cowboys for a visit. And it's interesting that the Cowboys want to get Ealy. This is a guy they have long liked. They placed a waiver claim on him last year when the Patriots cut him. The Jets beat the Cowboys to the punch on that one because, well, they had the higher waiver priority. Cowboys do need, do need some depth at defensive end. And it's also worth mentioning that had the Cowboys not moved up in the draft to go get Demarcus Lawrence, had they stayed put, they were going to take Coney Ealy in the second round, a player that they have long liked here. So two stars on this one. But I do want to know from you guys, do you want the Cowboys to sign Ely? You think that they need more depth at the, the defensive end spot? Give me a like for a yes and a wow face for a no. I am fine with it, of course. Has to be at the right price. Didn't have a great year for the Jets. Kind of miscast a bit as a 3-4 defensive end. But I do think he brings you the needed depth you, that you need for the Cowboys, especially with Benson Mayoa no longer on the roster. Next up, time for your, I guess, three times a week, Des Bryant rumor. Jerry Jones versus Steven Jones is a battle brewing there over Des Bryant. Three stars on this one. It does seem pretty likely. I kind of thought that Jerry Jones was playing the good cop. Steven Jones was playing the bad cop. But maybe they're just at, at odds on this one here. The report from NBC DFW is that Steven doesn't think Brian is a good fit for Dak Prescott, and he wants to move on from Dez. Jerry Jones, meanwhile, is loyal, wants to stick with Dez, wants to give him another shot. And there's kind of been a little mini uh, war of wards in the media with Steven indicating, hey, we're not too happy with Dez and kind of throwing some shots his way. Jerry Jones saying, I can't envision us not having Des Bryant on the roster. So a little battle brewing there between the Joneses. And I want to know from you, what should the Cowboys do with Des Bryant? Heart for a keep, like for a pay cut, laughy face for a cut, and a wow face for a trade. I would love to get him to take a pay cut. I don't know if he actually will, but I would rather keep Des Bryant because unless you spend a high pick on a wide receiver in the first round, and even then, I don't know if this is the case, you're not going to get better at wide receiver if you get rid of Des Bryant. Third rumor. How about the Cowboys drafting Leighton Van Der Esch in round one? Two stars on this one. It's actually coming from you guys. Chat Sports had its fan-led NFL mock draft on Monday night, and Leighton Van Der Esch was the fan's pick for the Cowboys. Unfortunately, most of the top defensive guys were off the board. It was kind of down to Van Der Esch, Will Hernandez, and DJ Moore. Bit of a narrow vote, but in the end, Van Der Esch won out, giving the Cowboys some more linebacker depth at the position that they de desperately need more help there with Sean Lee and Jalen Smith often banged up. You see the two stars there. Here's what they mean as we go through all the latest Cowboys rumors. Zero stars, it's the number of fights Odell won against the net. It's fake news, don't buy it. One star means there's a small shred of truth. Two stars means the people are talking, and it's firmly in that rumor category. Three stars means pretty likely it's not a done deal. Things could change, but I'd buy it. And four stars means that Dez caught it. It was a catch, and it's a fact. Let's keep it rolling now with some more NFL draft talk. How about Deron Payne and the Cowboys? Well, two stars on this one is Payne is actually in the middle of his visit of, of his visit to the Cowboys. It was last night and some today as well, per his Instagram story. One of the Cowboys' 30 pre-draft visits, the national visits that they get to have. Payne is a nose guard, though, which the Cowboys don't value as much, but he is athletic enough to bring some of those three technique qualities the Cowboys are looking for if they're going to add a high pick on a defensive tackle. Speaking of defensive tackles, how about Taven Bryan and the Cowboys? Two stars on this one as well, as Bryan is also one of the Cowboys' 30 pre-draft visitors. He is the guy that I think Rod Marinelli really likes. Marinelli worked him out closely at the Florida Pro Day. He is a three technique, though, which I don't want Dallas to spend an early round pick on. Brian, I think, will go in the first round, maybe late first round. Bet worst case for Brian, he's going to be a late second round pick. He is a great athlete, has some great talent, but he's still very raw. Marinelli, though, will get the most out of him. But I don't want an early pick on a three technique when you have David Irving and you have Lee Collins as well. Next up is Harold Landry. He is also coming in for a pre-draft visit with the Dallas Cowboys. Two stars on this one here. I think it makes some sense, but I would be maybe a little bit surprised that this was the pick because Landry hasn't really fit the mold of the Cowboys' edge rushers in the past. Remember, last year, they had Taco Charlton and TJ Watt on the board, and they took Taco Charlton over Watt, who's a little bit closer in terms of athletic profile and size and quickness to Landry. But if he's on the board, the Cowboys could look for another edge rusher if that's the case. Maybe Demarcus Lawrence's time is running low in Dallas. I want to know from you guys, though, 
Who do you want the Cowboys to draft in the first round? Is it a lineman? Is it a linebacker? Do you want to say to like Derwin James? We'll get to Derwin James here in a little bit as well, but keep those comments flowing in the comments section. Some more pre-draft visits going on right now for the Cowboys. It's a busy week for them. Also coming in to the star is Antonio Callaway, the Florida wide receiver. I'm only giving this one one star, though. There are some pretty significant off-the-field red flags for Callaway. Doesn't fit in, into that right kind of guy mindset that Jason Garrett wants. This might be more of a fact-finding mission for the Cowboys and Callaway. Very talented player. If he didn't have all the off-the-field issues, he could be a round one, round two type of player. But all those off-the-field red flags, he was suspended for this, this, this season at Florida, is not going to do it any, any justice. He would likely fall to day three because of those off-the-field red flags. Another pre-draft visit, Desmond Harrison. This is a guy I've seen mentioned in the comments before. A very good athlete, very raw though at the same time, and that's the big issue for me. We know he's raw. He turns 25 as a rookie because he, he had to leave Texas because of off-the-field issues, was away from football for, for two years, went to West Georgia, played pretty well. He's a day three option, a developmental type, but do you really want to spend a day three pick on a player like Desmond Harrison who is 25 years old? We're going to break down all of the Cowboys' pre-draft visits here in just a second, but first, it was from our sponsor, The Guild. keep track of all these pre-draft visits. The Cowboys have up to 30, and they've already penciled in quite a few of them. Let's break down the ones we know so far and what it means for what the Cowboys are planning to do in the NFL draft. Bunch of receivers, Antonio Callaway, DJ Moore, Calvin Ridley, Christian Kirk, Therese Fontaine as well. All guys, at least some of those guys, could be first-round options, says that the Cowboys are still looking for wide receiver help. Let's move to the offensive line. Now another area Dallas is looking at heavily. Desmond Harrison, a late-round guy, but James Daniels, Will Hernandez, Colton Miller, and Connor Williams are all potential first-round picks. I would not be surprised if the Cowboys pulled the trigger on an offensive lineman early to play at left guard or at right tackle and to get Collins back inside to left guard. Some defensive picks alongside Naheem Hines here as well. Cowboys showing a lot of interest in Hines, would be a third-down back type, but then Deron Payne, Vita Vea, uh, Taven Bryan, Harold Landry are all potential first-round picks, mostly looking at the, at the defensive tackle spot. It is an area of need for the Cowboys. Don't rule out any of those guys there for the first round, at least in terms of the defensive linemen. And then finally, a couple of linebackers here. Rashawn Evans, Leighton Vander Esch should be available for the Cowboys in the first round. Darius Leonard is kind of more of a, a mid-to-late round pick. Deshaun Elliott, by the way, is a could be a local visit because he's from the area in terms of high school. So he doesn't technically count against the team's 30 max here, but I want to make note of him because A, he was a safety, and also that's the only safety on this list here, which I find curious, which brings us to our final note of the day here. Do the Cowboys not want Derwin James? And the more and more we go along here, I kind of think that, yeah, that's the case. I'm giving this one three stars here for a couple different reasons. Starters. The Cowboys haven't had a single reported meeting with James. Not at the Combine, not at the Pro Day, not for a visit, not for a workout. Kind of weird for a team like the Cowboys, who do not waste those 30 visits, to not even have shown interest in Derwin James, I find very curious. Now, he's probably not going to last the number 19 overall anyway, but if you thought there was a chance of that, or you wanted to go up and trade up for him, wouldn't you have some interest and meet with him? Not only that... The Cowboys have said that they want a center field type at safety. That's why they've passed on guys like Kenny Vaccaro and Eric Reed. I love Derwin James, and I hope that I'm wrong on this, but he's not a center field type right now. That's not what he was at Florida State. He was so great because he played everywhere. He lined up as an edge rusher at times, as a box safety, occasionally as a linebacker or a nickel corner. And Derwin James himself so the teams have mostly spoken to him about being a strong safety or a nickel corner. If that's the case... He doesn't make sense for what the Cowboys want to do. I don't agree with it. I would love to get Derwin James, but I do find it interesting the Cowboys haven't shown any reported interest. Maybe they're hiding that interest, but why do that at number 19 overall? So three stars on that one. I don't know if the Cowboys actually want Derwin James as great as he is as much as I would like him on the roster. 